Sometimes in this life, you need to call up an old friend, grab that person you know you can't live another minute without, get in your cars, and just go see what you can see. Drive up every mountain road within the vicinity just to see what's there. Because sometimes there's hidden treasures. Sometimes you might be surprised at what you find. Other times, it's just all about the memories you've made that will stick with you for a lifetime. That's what we did on this adventure. So here we are. We've been following around Mr. Dave Suzuki all day long, wondering where in the hell he's been taking us. Lo and behold, we stumbled upon this place. Have no idea what it is, what it's about, the name of it, anything like that. We just... Even Dave didn't know what right. it was. Dave was coming up to see something else. He goes, I didn't even know this was up here. So That's this is a surprise. absolutely total surprise. So we're looking forward to exploring it. What do you think this is then? A barrel, <laughs> a big barrel with a ladder. Would that be water? That could be water, maybe cyanide tank, depending on if this was a, what kind of a mine this was. But they do have, looks like a pump is in here still. Oh. Is this the mine entrance? No, this is the pump house. <laughs> this is where the well was. Yeah, so you can so see. So it is, so that was water then. Yeah. Just going off the condition, this is a semi-modern operation. I say the PVC pipe going and uh, the, the PEX running through. And that looks, the pump looks really pretty new. Yeah, it looks modern. And then the tank still next to it. I like how they banded it with the thick gauge. it look like up there it's still filled with water is there still water in it up to here i want to bring the camera up have a look at it i think he might be fibbing are you fibbing when you guys edit the video you'll see <laughs> i guess we'll make our way down next by the uh the propane tank and oh, we've just spotted something else. No trip, no explore will be complete without a trip to the loo. Yeah, no explore will be complete without a trip to the loo. Copyright <laughs> infringement. <laughs> We're going to begin with this side, make our way over and kind of climb up over here. There's also a house. There you go. Did have uh, electricity, light for doing there, the three seater. The one thing I have noticed about this place. There's loads of loos. There's one there, one over there, there's one there, there's one down there. Ow, yeah. I'm getting bitten by horse flies. I would say loads of loos and loads of horse flies. We've been noticing the higher in elevation we get, the more horse flies there are, and they bite like crazy. They're slow. They're but slow, uh, but yeah. But by the time you notice the bite, it's too late. And I said the propane tank there, it looks fairly modern too, so that's it's a bit... Neat. And then here is See? the next loo. Another loo. See, but you see some of the floors missing there. We can get a good get inside. Location of such a good condition. Notice the glass. Nobody smashed it up or ruined it. Well, apart from the fact this stinks of. Uh, Oh, fridge. Things. This is a walk-in fridge. Yeah, look at that. I've not seen one like this. Uh, actually, we have seen one like this. Not as big, though. 
No, but that's pretty remarkable. I didn't bring the torch with me. All the shelves back there. Mm -hmm. Look at that. And there's a, what's that on the OK? Is that a key or something? Anyway, it does stink it badly. Does. The pack rats are in there. Up to the next building. I think Dave's still in there. Oh, is he in there? I might be in the second room. Oh. Stinks in here too. Look at but would you look at all those core samples? Howdy. What's it like in there? Is it worth it's filming? Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Go have a look. <laughs> oh, again, stinks. Yeah, I don't know what that smell is. This is the ow. This is the kitchen then, the cookhouse. Oh, look at this. It's interesting because it's by the assay office. Do you think the next door is the assay office or just yeah. a storage for core samples? Either or. But either way, it's strange to have the kitchen next yeah. door. It is. Look, the cabinets are still in place. They're nice still here. cabinets, actually. I just realized they are. Oh. And then back, look at the stove here. Oh, crap. Wow. And this is a giant, the hood. Vent hood. This is really neat. But you can see how nature has taken over. Pack rats are bringing in pieces of the trees, leaving a mess. Oh, I hear one. Well, if you look behind you. Oh, go back to the core samples. That goes back samples. into the core sample room. And then Dave has found a secret room in here. Really? So we'll check out Dave's secret room. Oh, it certainly is. Oh boy. Did you go down? I went down to the second bottom stuff. Okay. Actually, let's go grab the flashlight and we'll come back and look at down there. Right. So down here. Okay, you got the uh, hot water heater back there. What, the hot water heater? The hot water heater. Bunch of shells. It is so much cooler down here. Some more shelving. Bunch of pipes running through. You see the timbers that they've used. Just the natural timber for the, the joists down here. Coming back through on this side, just a few more shelves, and just pieces of tree and everything else. Ooh, old coffee tin back there. Neat. So just come through the window there, looking at all the CDs here, a lot of Mozart. Music for your ears, Horowitz. Mozart Symphony. So these are the are they these are the Mozart make you smart? Piano, yeah, Mozart makes you smart. I mean classical music it's good to you know go through. But yeah, look at that, the old uh, cassette C D player. There's our flashlight there. So we're going to uh, 
You're going I'm going to go I'm check not. out. I'm going to stay here because I'm sensible. Yeah, I'm going to go check out the back bedroom since Dave talked me into it. I was able to convince you to come on in. Oh, wow. Books down there. Oh, too. okay. Oh, nice. So there you go. You got your, your basin. The white and yellow paper. The toilet. And your shower. So this would be the, the bunkhouse. We got some bunk beds there. And then this guy has the best bed in the room. How neat is that? A little bench looking back out. And then into the, the front room there, which as you can see the roof all down. So let's see. There's anything left in. Did you open this? I did not. Towels. Look at that. Oh. And they still look clean. Yeah. Let's do the old. Uh... The old it doesn't test. smell that bad, actually. No. No, it doesn't smell like super musty or anything either. You got a bath mat in there. All right, make sure we'll close that up properly. You notice they left a window Snap. inside of the bedroom. Snap. Going into the living room. Yeah, so they put their shower over Does the window like there. Does it like it was an add-on? Yeah, they've yeah done something to this. I mean, obviously put the shower in as a the add-on. Yeah. But let's now check out if there's anything left in the drawers. Nope. Nope. Empty. Empty. Nope. That's the bunkhouse we were just in. You see the side is completely just split open. And we're going to run up the hillside and meet up with Andrea. Miss something? What? Oh, basement. Yeah. We have full electricity. There you go. There's the breaker box. Oh, boy, it is. The smell coming out of here. It is putrid. And now, off to find Andrea. For this room. Oh, it's Stephen. So, comment. as Dave was just showing, it is more core samples. So here's some. Uh, Some of the numbers on there. Neat. And now just walked over to the second doorway of this building. More core cool samples. Right. So these originally would have been more, I believe, bunk houses. For the, the I would, miners? I would have thought so. The way it's laid out. See, in the back wall, there you got a room for stuff. Ow! So, horse Yeah, fly. these flies are getting ridiculous. Ow! God! That was two, one on each leg. Well, hey, watch where you're going. Then the last room along the side, here in the end. Just a bunkhouse room. Yep, empty room, just a folding chair. Well, I don't see, there was no... Uh... Stove in the corner. Well, I guess, okay, that's where the vent would have been. Okay. Simple. Good grief, I tell you something. I wouldn't want to be these miners putting up with these damn flies. 
They're worse than mosquitoes, actually. Yeah, their bites hurt really bad. And like I said, Andrew just mentioned, you know, tacked multiple legs, multiple flies, different areas. They're just, this is getting ridiculous. So we're gonna need to start rushing through this one and get down off the mountain. All right, the next little cabin. Look at this narrow. So I wonder if this would have uh, been wood storage for the fireplace? No, you it's think? a cabin. I just mean out here, this oh. little area. It's uh Oh boy. Yeah, but take a look at this. <laughs> Yeah, this, I this, gotta, is a, this is a my size cabin. This is an Andrew size cabin. I'm, my head's You've hitting got, the top. Look, little donkeys. I, I mean, I can't see hardcore butch miners having little donkeys. Little basin. Very uh, like childlike almost. There's a loft. Okay, let's peer up there. What's hiding up here? And then this side. Electricity all through it, but yeah, this is. This side that you got a bed. Yeah, like you said, this design, almost like a playhouse. It's... It is, very much so. But you do have a full-size bed in there. How peculiar. And lots of uh, storage above. Interesting. Very much so. Yeah, we have to go back the way we came. So back down, now we've got these water water bins right here high enough to fill up some trucks perhaps on the way maybe not down the mountain but I'm guessing probably up the mountain would be where the mine is and then we're just going to go check the remains of these two so here we go on the uh, ground outside. You got a bunch of, there's like antifreeze containers. And what's with this one? Ethyl and glycol base, antifreeze, here you go. So a bunch of bits and pieces and parts there. So old uh, gas tanks, and tires, Few, few gas tanks in there. I don't know, there's an old uh, stove back up in there. But this building here is, uh, yeah, totally demolished. Was some shelves and things in there. But that's about it. Yeah, too far gone. And then, uh, yeah, this one over here is the same. So this has got, watch this step there. Okay, that is another small shelf. Just a few, like, automotive parts on there. Oh, this wasn't look at that bass. He's burying his face in there. Jeez. Yeah, here's another look. And another loo at the back. Guess what's in the next one? Is that going to be another loo? Food storage? Bunkhouse? No. What is it? Core samples. 
Um, More core samples. So it's a lot like um, Nivlock. Nivlock. When we explored that early on, it was just every building was chock a block with core samples. But then we saw somebody filmed it. Dave. Oh, Dave, yeah. You filmed it again, and there was nothing left in there. They totally cleaned it out. Because they started mining there again. Oh, did oh, they? Shit. Yeah. Okay. I don't know about in 2024, but that was 2023 or 2022. Yeah. We filmed, I think it, we in filmed it in 2020. Yeah. It was one of our, I don't think we actually hadn't even left Pasadena. No. We, I filmed the majority of it on the, the old Nikon because yeah. your phone kept acting up. And we didn't have any uh, microphones or anything. Yeah. Just the microphone on That was, the, a, that yeah. was an interesting video. <laughs> link in the description below. I don't know if we want to link to that one. <laughs> Yeah, here we go. Ow! Oh, see, so you got a little conveyor right there. And then, yep, there's the rest of the core samples, some tires, another piece of a conveyor up there. And then again, the natural timbers that they used to build it. It's really neat. Just noticed, actually, this used to be like a barn. There's the, uh, the feeding trough. You would have had water troughs on there. And this is the other side. Just a wide open storage room. Saved the best building, most intact looking for last. The largest one. It's a bunkhouse. The property. So if you yeah. see behind it, there's a road. We are going to walk up there. Yeah. Apparently Dave said he found Not yet. another cabin up there on his map. So. That'll be next. Okay, first of all, Dave, you missed this. This is a date here, 1934, by the name of Jack. So Jack, 1934, 90 years old. That's pretty neat. What Definitely. else have you found? This is the bunkhouse. Okay, well, we'll go through this way first. Again, that smell. I know, the smell's awful. See, so you have where they would have their beds. So there'd have been two beds here, two wardrobes, another two beds, two wardrobes, another two beds, two wardrobes, and then around the other side. Oh. Oh boy, I got Actually the, uh, just watch that piece of floorboard. Trampoline there. effect going yeah. on there. And then, oh, yeah, this is all rotten. Yeah. And tons of mosquitoes as well, actually. We got extra window of panes and uh, windows in there. And then you've got, again, two wardrobes. Two wardrobes. So four, eight, Ten. So this would have been a bunkhouse for ten people down here. Yeah. And then let me take you through the other side. Oh yeah, you get a trampoline effect in here, big time. And this, in here, is the wash house. So you've got the huge sink to wash your hands with a. Um, nice. Do you see all the flies? Yeah. I don't know if the camera and those are just, goes up. They're just the normal house flies. Yeah, they're these are the normal there. ones, not the horse flies. And then um, down here, you've got the hot water heater. Now remember, it's a hot <laughs> water heater. <laughs> um, and three showers. And the shower and rooms. Toi. Three of them. Three showers, yeah. Only, there's only one remaining. Yeah, there. only one but shower head Three. Nice. So, yeah. Really cool. This is all still... Like I said, this is the best preserved building on the site so far. And then Dave's gone upstairs. I don't know what the upstairs is like, so... I don't know if you want to try Let's, it. Uh, yeah, maybe What's I'll... it like up there, Dave? Is it pretty sturdy? And then we hear... Ah, Dave's crash. deep in thought. Right, let me see if I'll give it a, a shot. I'll let you go. You've got to have one sensible person to call the ambulance. Not that I've got any service. <laughs> ambulance would be able to get up here anyway. 
going up the stairs. Doesn't feel too. It's all good until you get to about the middle. Yeah. It begins to bubble and crack. Okay, so I don't think we'll go out that far then. So yeah, basically same layout as uh, downstairs, but uh, not as many. So I think maybe about six up here. We do okay, have I couldn't resist. Closets. I'm here. How many? How many? So you got drives? two closets three here. Closets on the adjacent side. Oh, there's three over there. Three on that side. Three on that side. Oh, so, you got a. Uh, and we'll draw up here. So another six. Oh wow, yeah, you see how the floor is going. Where Dave is. And then wide open space in the middle. He's still got some mattresses in there. Well that would make sense having a large bunkhouse like this, having that huge kitchen area over the other side. Yeah. That makes more sense. This is really good. I'm a bit nervous yeah. about the floor. See, I wasn't sensible at all. Nope. Just thought, Who's going to call the ambulance now with no service? like to support this channel please check out our pinned comment we have lots of links and you can discover which one fits you best thank you